everyone, it's your tech girl Mary and welcome back to my channel for today's video guys. We will be doing a comparison video. Na miss ko mag comparison video guys. That's why I decided since ito namang dalawang phones na to, itong dalawang brands na to, sobrang naging in demand talaga siya the past few days. And until now, ang dami pa rin nagre-request na gawan ko nga ito ng comparison na si Oppo F11 and si Samsung Galaxy A15. Yung Samsung na meron ako is yung color white and yung Oppo F11 na meron ako is yung bagong colorway nila na waterfall gray. Anyway, on this video guys, mas magpo-focus tayo sa kanyang camera and video comparison. Before ako nag-film ngayon, lumabas ako, sinama ko kayo sa errands ko using the Oppo F11 and the Samsung Galaxy A50. Pasensya na po at hindi ako nakapag-silent. Before tayo mag-proceed sa video guys, the reason why nag-iba yung quality, hindi ko ginagamit yung usual Canon na camera natin. Iba to, kasi nga may nagsising along best. Thursday pa lang, hindi pa po Friday, hindi pa Saturday, may nagpa-party na. So, sobrang annoyed ko, pero wala tayong makagawa. It happens. That's why I decided to use another camera na mi mic para medyo mas maiwasan nating marinig yung nagpivideo kay nga sa labas. Bago tayo mag-proceed guys sa kanyang camera and video comparison, mabilisan lang para ma-refresh lang tayo sa specs niya. For the screen, si Samsung Galaxy A50. Meron po siyang 6.4 inches Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display. Now, let's go with the Oppo F11. This is the non-pro, guys. Ha, baka malito kayo. The Oppo F11, yung display niya, guys. Ito has 6.53 inches Full HD Plus display. And may notch po siya. Water drop notch ang tawag ni Oppo sa kanya. Ang difference niya with the Pro, mabilis lang, guys. Si Pro... Meron siyang motorized pop-up camera. It's snatchless, full screen kung full screen. If you're not into that phone, meron tayong Oppo F11 naman, guys. What I like about naman, guys, the Oppo F11 is mas bigger yung screen niya. So, if you're into watching movies, mas gusto niyo yung malalaking screen, go for the Oppo F11. Don't worry, guys. Parehas lang po silang merong 2340 by 1080 pixels. Asensya na, guys, kung naninibago kayo sa camera ko, no? Kaya ayoko tong gamitin kasi hindi talaga ito nakakaganda, eh. <laughs> That's why I really prefer using a Canon camera than the Sony. Kasi si Sony, guys, maganda siya for cinematic um, shots, ganyan. Mas okay siya for B-roll. Pero for sit-down videos, mas gusto ko talaga si Canon. Naisingit ko talaga yun. But anyway, going back to the phone. Oppo F11 has the MediaTek Helio P70. While the Samsung Galaxy A50 has the Samsung Exynos 9610. They both have the same variant, guys, na merong 6GB of RAM with 128GB of internal storage. Siyempre, kailangan parehas ng variant. Hindi tayo pwede nagko-compare ng magkaiba. Kasi... That will be unfair. In terms of camera, guys, si Oppo F11, dual rear camera lang po siya. Meron siyang 48 megapixels for the main camera and 5 megapixels for the depth sensor. Ang gusto ko kay Oppo, guys, ito talaga yung advantage niya, the camera. It's really obvious sa mga sample photos na ipapakita ko sa inyo later on na talagang umangat si Oppo F11 kasi nga ang ganda talaga ng main sensor niya. Si Samsung Galaxy A50 naman, guys, Siyempre, hindi naman siya magpapatalo. Although, meron siyang triple camera setup. I really enjoy using it, especially the wide-angle camera. Yung camera niya, guys, pang S10. Pa hindi naman, like, S10 level yung kanyang quality. Pero kasi, para siyang S10 baby or S10 baby version, diba? Pero kasi, pero kasi guys, ang hindi ko lang nagustuhan sa kanya is yung main sensor niya na merong 25 megapixels. Triple camera nga siya, pero natalo siya dito ni Oppo F11. Oh, in terms naman of the front camera, before I forget, si Samsung Galaxy A50, meron siyang 25 megapixels and capable siya for AI features, while si Oppo F11, meron siyang 16 megapixels front camera. Si Oppo F11, guys, in terms of design, meron siyang triple gradient finish na talagang nakaka-attract. And kung mahilig kayo sa mga ganitong klase ng design, go for the Oppo F11. While si Samsung Galaxy A50 naman guys, meron siyang minimalist gradient design. What I like about it is, tinatawag nga nila tong glass tech kasi nga, it's made of plastic but it looks like a glass. And I really like the rainbow effect ng color white specifically ni A50. Pero guys, I really like the Oppo F11 mer <laughs> more Why? Kasi mas solid sa pakiramdam pag hinahawakan si Oppo F11. 
Mas mabigat siya, definitely. I think that's because of its metal. I don't know if this is metal. Pero parang metal finish yung kanyang sides. While si A50, mas magaang talaga siya. It depends kung anong mas prefer nyo sa phone, kung mas mabigat or mas magaan. So, ano nga bang advantages and disadvantages nila? Si Samsung Galaxy A50, guys, obviously, may kita na yun, USB Type-C na siya. That's another plus point for Samsung. Si Oppo F11, naka-micro USB lang siya. So, ito yung medyo nakaka-sad part kay Oppo kasi it's almost perfect eh. With Oppo naman, guys, meron siyang fingerprint sensor pero nasa likod. While si Samsung Galaxy A50, meron po siyang in-display fingerprint sensor. What I, what I don't like about the Samsung Galaxy A50, guys, although, you know, it has an in-display fingerprint sensor, it's very futuristic, hindi siya ganun ka-accurate at hindi siya ganun kabilis as I expected. Ever since naman in review ko siya, guys, until now, hindi ko talaga siya nagustuhan. That's why I prefer using the rear um, fingerprint sensor ni Oppo kasi although nasa likod siya, hindi siya ganun ka, you know, future-proof mas mabilis at accurate naman siya. Okay, let's go sa kanyang camera, guys. Sa photos. Ang dami kong photos na tinook earlier. Sobrang nag-enjoy talaga ako comparing these two phones. Pero, as you noticed, mamaya may kita nyo naman after this clip. Mas okay talaga yung mga nilabas na photos ni Oppo F11 kisa ni Samsung Galaxy A50. Well, si Oppo kasi, guys, it has a bigger primary sensor. Well, si Samsung Galaxy A50 naman, guys, despite being a mid-range phone, it has a triple camera setup. It has a wide-angle lens. That's why I really like the A50. Pero kasi it depends on what you really prefer. Do you prefer having a bigger primary sensor pero dual camera lang? Or do you prefer having a triple camera setup pero medyo mas mababa yung kanyang primary sensor? Yung daylight photos, guys, ni Oppo F11, mas okay yung saturation niya for me kasi mas natural siyang tignan. While si Samsung A50 naman, guys, medyo nagsastruggle siya to recognize accurate colors. What I like about the Samsung Galaxy A50, guys, for the front camera and video, sino ginagawa niyang soft yung result. So, if you're into that, lalo na ako, my face is not perfect. That's why I prefer having that. Pero, alam niyo yun, natural pa rin yung kalalabasan, ginawa ni A50 yun para sa akin. That's why I really like the front video of the Samsung Galaxy A50. Mamaya may kita nyo yun. In terms of portrait selfies naman, guys, si Samsung Galaxy A50, mas nagbibigay siya ng accurate, bulky effect. Yun yung nagustuhan ko kay A50. And with Oppo, guys, medyo mas warm yung colors niya. If you like or if you prefer having warm colors sa isang selfie nyo or sa selfies nyo, then go for the Oppo. Night photos are definitely better on the Oppo F11. Yung ki Samsung, guys, it's a bit to wash out. Kaya medyo na-disappoint ako doon. In terms of battery capacity, si Oppo F11, meron siyang 4,020 mAh battery capacity with VOOC 3.0 charging technology. While si Samsung Galaxy A50, meron po siyang 4,000 mAh battery capacity. So, ayun, after this, guys, if flash natin yung aking video comparison and even the camera comparison ni Samsung A50 and the Oppo F11 and kayo nang bahalang mag-compare humusga kung anong mas gusto nyo anyway, magpapaalam na ako guys it's your tech girl Mary, bye guys and see you on my next video What I am using is the Oppo F11. So, nasa bahay pa lang ako, paalis pa lang ako guys. And isasama ko kayo. At ang gagamitin ko lang pang vlog the whole day is the Oppo F11 and the Samsung Galaxy A50. So, charge ko lang si A50 guys para ready tayo. Ito guys, kabibili ko lang nito. I actually want to use this right now para sabay nag-play si Samsung at si Oppo para hindi ako mahirapan. Tsaka para ma-stabilize siya. Kaso kasi wala pa yung ibang parts. Kung nakikita nyo, hindi ko pa pwedeng ipatong yung dalawang phone, no? So, ito gagamitin ko lang to kapag alam niyo na extreme video and camera comparison. So, ang tawag dito is a smartphone video rig. Ayan, pwede mong ilagay yung smartphone mo dito. Ayan, lalagay natin dyan sa ibabaw. Kasi isa lang yung malalagay ko. So, ang kailangan ko pang dalawahan para sabay mag-play. But anyway, I'll be going guys. Bye!
this is how I look like, guys. <laughs> Ang hirap mag-isa, but yeah. Ang gusto ko sa A50, guys, pwede kang mag-video kahit naka-wide angle lens. So, that's a plus points. Wait lang, guys. Ihinga lang ako. I'll be back. Ayan, no? Aandar. Nakalimutan ko. Pasensya na po. Break time, guys. May nakita akong flowers. Diba sabi ko mag-extreme photo and video comparison tayo. Let's go. Ito. Ganda niya. So, let's take some pictures muna. Okay guys, I'm here already sa destination ko. Alam mo naman, napakalayo sa bahay. But I'm here na sa May Pavilion. I'm just gonna run some errands. May mga ipapaship tayo. Tapos may mga gagawin din tayo. May imimit rin ako. Pero, try ko guys kung maisasama ko kayo. Pero, ayun, gagamitin ko lang. Again, is the A50 and the Oppo. This one guys, this one is yung Samsung. Papaship po guys yung mga nanalo ng giveaway winners natin. So yun, pop kaya pupunta tayo ng LBC. Tatlong package lang naman. I'm going back inside guys. May nakalimutan ako. Nakalimutan ako mag-withdraw. So, mag-withdraw lang tayo. Hey guys, so I just got home. I'm listening to MKVHD right now. Yung podcast niya sa Spotify. Right now, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy A50. And, ayan, makikita nyo yung difference niya with the Oppo. Pagsabay nga natin, kunin natin si Oppo F11. Ayan, pinagsabay ko yung sa Oppo and yung sa Samsung Galaxy A50. Pero mas gusto ko yung output ng video simula kanina guys, ki Oppo. So I guess hindi talaga matataro ni Samsung yung video ni Oppo. But when it comes naman sa camera, hindi sila masyado nagkakalayo actually. Pero I prefer, lalo na yung night photos natin, ki Oppo. Nagustuhan ko rin talaga yung ki Oppo. Grabe o, oh, sobrang daming kalat. Bakit kayo ganyan? Ayan. Siguro yun yung mga tinatapon ng mga dumadaang sasakyan. And then, oh, ganito yung itsura ng aming um, subdivision. Ayan. Ito yung parang area na hindi ko alam kung anong tawag. Hey guys, so I just got home. I'm preparing for a sit-down video ng comparison natin dito sa Samsung Galaxy A50 and the Oppo F11. Teka, patay natin to. Nag-charge lang ako ng mga dapat i-charge. Teka, pakita ko sa inyo. So, ito yung behind the scenes ko, guys, pag nag-film. I do my research talagang sinisigurado kong tama lahat ng sinasabi ko. Mostly naman yan, specs lang yan, and then lahat ng sinasabi ko galing talaga sa akin. Yan yung ilaw ko na ginagamit sa likod ko. Again, nag-charge lang ako ng mga dapat i-charge. <laughs> guys, nakaka-stress. Yung nag-film na ako ngayon, Tapos biglang may nagsisingalong. Hindi talaga ako natutuwa. 